He is God to be trusted. He never changed. What he says remain to be there intact. No one can stop it. No one can change the plan of God. The devil can try to tamper with it. But he will never succeed. Because he is almighty God. He has so many plans for us. He has so many plans for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God somebody. Hallelujah church. Hallelujah kanisa. I will go to the word of God straight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Tuombe. Our heavenly Father. Thank you. And we bless you. Thank you for giving us another opportunity to stand before your holy altar. Father Lord, I am coming before your heavenly throne of mercy. In your mercy seat, O Lord. Asking for your mercy and forgiveness from whatsoever we have sinned against you. Much more I repent as the priest, O Lord. I have offended you Lord I have made you wrong Lord I have done things of the fresh I have ignored your spirit Holy Father forgive me I am even repenting for everyone in this place, Lord. Don't see our wickedness, Lord. Have mercy on us. Give us another opportunity, Lord. Another opportunity, Father. You are good, God. Full of mercy and love. Your mercy endures forever. Thank you, Holy Father. It is this time, Lord. We're going to learn about your word. Teach us, Lord. Teach us, Lord. You know my heart, Father. I fear your altar. I fear you, Lord. You are not God to pray with. Lord, I fear your prophet. You know my heart, Lord. If I was to choose another thing, Lord, not to, not to stand at your prophet. I am not worthy. I am not worthy to stand before your altar, Lord. I am not worthy. I am not worthy, Lord. I fear your altar, Lord. I fear you, Lord. I know you dwell in your altar. I fear you, Father. With trembling heart. Lord. Spare us, Lord. Spare your children, living God. Let your wrath not come upon us, Lord. Let your wrath not come upon us, oh Lord. Have mercy on us, Lord. Remember the blood that was shed at Calvary. Remember, Lord. You said it in your word. That I will never leave you. You will never forsake us. Remember, Lord. If you will kill us, Lord, they will say, He has taken them this far to kill them. Lord, remember them, Lord. 
Tukumbuke Bwana. Remember your word Lord. Kumbuka neno lako Bwana. Remember your word Lord. Kumbuka neno lako Bwana. You are uncomparable God. Wewe ni Mungu usiyelinganishwa. You are uncomparable God. Wewe ni Mungu usiyelinganishwa. You are the most truthful and adorable God. Wewe ni Mungu wa kweli na Mungu mwaminifu. Full of love. Mungu mwenye upendo mwingi. Slow in anger. Mungu mwenye usiye na hasira. And rich in love. Lakini unitajiri wa upendo. Remember your word Lord. Kumbuka neno lako Bwana. You are rich in love and slow in anger. Wewe ni Mungu tajiri wa upendo na uko au na wewe si mwingi wa hasira. Remember your word Lord. Remember. Kumbuka neno lako Bwana. Kumbuka. Remember you have given us children. Kumbuka Mungu umetupa watoto. If we die today. Kama tutakufa leo. We know you have other means. Tunajua hatuna namna nyingine. We know you have other means. Tunajua kwamba una namna nyingine. But Lord spare us Lord. Lakini Bwana tutunze Mungu. Spare us Lord. Tutunze Bwana. We have prayed with time. Tumecheza na muda. We have prayed with your word. Tumecheza na neno lako. We have tempered with the Holy Spirit. Tumecheza na Roho Mtakatifu. We have tempered with the grace tumecheza na neema we have been continuing to sin just because of your grace tumeendelea kutenda dhambi kwa sababu tu ya neema have mercy on me lord turemu bwana have mercy on us lord turemu bwana have mercy on everyone lord rehemu kila mmoja bwana we have offended you by not trusting you tumekukosea kwa kutokuamini mungu you have spoken yes Mesema ndio but out of our foolishness lakini pamoja na upumbavu wetu we have questioned your word tumeuliza neno lako did you really say it ya kwamba ni kweli umesema why we know you have said wakati tunajua umesema have mercy on us turehemu bwana you are delighted with those who believes in you lord wewe ni Mungu unambaye unawaangalia wale wanaokuamini. You are delighted in them who trust in you Father. Wewe ni Mungu wale wanaokuamini Bwana. Thank you Holy Father. Asante Mungu mtakatifu. Thank you glorious Jesus. Asante Mungu wa neema. Mighty one of Israel. Mungu wa Israel. You deserve glory. Unastahili utukufu. You deserve power. Unastahili nguvu. You deserve mighty. Unastahili uweza. Thanksgiving. Shukrani. Oh Lord, we bless you. Bwana tunakubariki. Thank you King of Kings. Asante mfalme wa mfalme. Have mercy on us Lord. Turem Bwana. Have mercy on us. Turem Bwana. Because of your unfailing love kwa sababu ya upendo wako mkuu kwetu Mungu because of your great compassion kwa sababu ya moyo wako mzuri kwetu oh lord bwana take away our sins ondoa dhambi zetu take away our sins lord ondoa dhambi zetu bwana wash us with your with your guilt tuoshe bwana utakatifu purify us from your sin takase bwana kwa dhambi zetu Lord we have recognized our rebellion Mungu tumegundua oh, dhambi zetu It haunts us every day It haunts us every day then night it it haunts us Natuinda bwana kila siku siku na mchana Father Baba Father Baba We have sinned against you and you alone. Tumekukosea wewe peke yako. And we have done evil in your sight. Na tumefanya uovu mbele ya macho yako. I have done evil in your sight. Tumefanya uovu mbele ya macho yako. You will be proved right in what you say. Utaonekana katika kweli katika chote ulichosema Bwana. And your judgment against me is just. Na hukumu yako juu yangu ni ya haki. For I was born a sinner. Kwa sababu nilizaliwa nikiwa mwenye dhambi. Yes. Dio. From the moment my mother conceived me. Tangu mama yangu aliponichukua tumboni mwake. I was born a sinner. Nilizaliwa 
ikiwa mwenye dhambi but you are desire honestly from my mother's womb kwa sababu na je yako juu yangu kutoka katika tumbo la mama yangu teaching me your wisdom even in my mother's womb kanifundisha hekima hata nikiwa tumboni mwa mama yangu purify me lord from my sins nitakase bwana ngoja na dhambi zangu and i'll be clean na nitatakasika wash me lord nioshe bwana i'll be clean than snow nitakuwa safi kuliko theruji oh give me my back my joy again o lord rudishie furaha ya wokovu wangu tena bwana oh lord let me rejoice in the salvation again lord bwana naomba neema ya kufurahia wokovu mungu father baba create in me the clean heart itengeneze moyo ulio safi ndani oh god renew my loyal spirit uisha roho yangu mpya e bwana within me ndani yangu do not banish me from your presence usiondoke usiondoe uso wako mbele yangu bwana and don't take away your holy spirit from me usimuondoe roho wako mtakatifu ndani yangu bwana restore to me the joy of your salvation ungurejesha furaha ya wokovu wangu and make me willing to obey you na nifanye kukutii wewe bwana then i will teach you you are, i will teach you ways to the labors of lord bwana nitawafundisha wakosaji njia zako in the mighty name of jesus katika jina la yesu and then i will return they will return to you lord nitawarejesha kwako forgive me lord isame bwana for shedding blood kwa kumwaga damu forgive me lord isame bwana for last kwa kutenda dhambi sins of the flesh dhambi za mwili backbiting umbea gossip umbea fornication uzinzi killing uaji all kind of sins we have offended you lord kila namna ya dhambi ambayo tumekukosea bwana have mercy on us lord turem bwana from those we know and those we don't know kwa zile ambazo Mungu tunazijua hata zile ambazo hatuzijui Those we remember and those we don't remember Kwa dhambi ambazo tunazikumbuka hata zile ambazo hatuzikumbuki Oh Lord unseal our lips Baba tazama midomo yetu And let our mouth praise you Lord Nafanya midomo yetu ikusifu wewe Bwana You do not desire a sacrifice Mungu wewe haustahili sadaka I would offer one You do not want a burnt offering Lord. Au ningetoa moja wapo Mungu. You will not reject the the broken and the repentant heart of God. Wewe Mungu haudharau moyo uliopondeka wala kuvunjika. Look within favor on Zion and help her Lord. Baba tuangalie uso wako na kututazama na kutusaidia Bwana. Look upon Ado and have mercy on him Lord. Baba tu nimwangalie Juliana na umre Mungu. In the mighty name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Look upon your children Lord. Ngalio watoto wako Bwana. Then Lord you are pleased with sacrifice offered in the right spirit. Bwana napotapokea sadaka na nadhabiu kwa roho yako mtakatifu. With burnt offering. Kwa sadaka za kuteketezwa. The burnt offering then bulls will gain the sacrifice on your altar. Kwa sadaka za kuteketezwa Bwana utazipokea katika madhabahu yako. Lord, Bwana, we commit our spirits to you. Tunaleta roho zetu mbele zako. We commit our souls to you. Tunaleta nafsi zetu mbele zako. We commit our bodies to you. Tunaleta miili yetu mbele zako. Only we come before your heavenly throne. Kwa ujasiri tunakuja katika kiti chako cha enzi. Everything you said we must do it by faith. Chochote ambacho Bwana umesema tutafanya kwa imani. That we should resist the devil and he will free. Ya kwamba tumpinge shetani naye atatukimbia. We are chasing the devil out of our life now. Tunampinga shetani katika maisha yetu sasa. Devil out of my life. Shetani toka katika maisha yetu. Get out of here. Get out of here. Toka mahali hapa. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. I am tired of your lies. Nimechoka na uongo wako. Get out in the name of Jesus. Toka katika jina la Yesu. Free. Kuwa huru. 
free devil out of this place huru toka shetani katika ile eneo free out of our hearts toka katika mioyo yetu free out of our spirits toka katika roho zetu free out of our souls toka katika nafsi zetu free out of our bodies toka katika miili yetu our bodies are meant to serve god miili yetu imeumbwa ili kumtumikia mungu in the name of jesus katika jina la yesu in the name of jesus katika jina la yesu i have chosen today tumechagua leo to save masa king kumtumikia mungu wetu yesu kristo in the name of jesus christ katika jina la yesu kristo father we praise you baba tunakusifu we glorify you tunakutukuza thank you lord asante bwana for we don't know how to pray kwa sababu hatujui namna ya kuomba but the holy spirit lakini roho mtakatifu he is praying for us anatuombea in unspeakable manner kwa kuzungumza kwa kusema kusikoweza kutamkika in a groaning manner kwa kuzungumza na kutamka kusikoweza kutamkika according to your will najiachilia katika kusudi lako he prays according to your will Holy Spirit pray for us according to your will. Roho Mtakatifu anasifu pamoja nasi kulingana na mapenzi yako. He pray for us according to your will. Anaomba pamoja nasi sawa sawa na mapenzi yako. He pray for us. Anaomba kwa ajili yetu. According to your will. Tokana na makusudi yako. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. We thank you Lord. Tunakushukuru Bwana. Because you have heard your spirit. Kwa sababu umeachilia roho yako. You have heard your spirit. Umemsikia roho yako. Umemsikia roho yako. Not us Lord. Not us. Sio sisi. Because we don't know how to pray. Kwa sababu hatujui jinsi ya kuomba. We don't know even how to do good. Hatujui hata namna ya kufanya vizuri. Now Lord we commit ourselves to you. Sasa Bwana tunajiachilia mbele zako. We commit everything to us. Tunajiachilia mbele kila kitu chetu kwako. All of our luggage we give it to you Lord. Mizigo yetu yote tunakupa wewe Bwana. Our stupidity we give it to you. Upumbavu wetu wote tunakupa wewe Bwana. Our foolishness we give it to you Lord. Ujinga wetu wote tunakupa wewe Bwana. Everything we submit it to you. Kila kitu tunakupa wewe Bwana. Our wisdom we submit it to you. Hekima zetu tunakupa wewe Bwana. Our know how we submit it to you. Yale tunayoyajua tunakupa wewe Bwana. Empty us Lord. Tutoe tu Empty us. Empty us. This is the full of our joy. That Lord you alone increase. Ya kwamba wewe peke yako Mungu ukazidi. And us decrease. Na sisi tukapungua. Us disappear. Sisi tukapotea. Die to our flesh. Kufa katika miili yetu. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. So that our spirit will serve you. Roho zetu zikuabudu wewe. Thank you Holy Father. Asante Baba mtakatifu. Thank you Holy One of Israel. Asante Baba mtakatifu Thank you for our children Lord. Asante kwa ajili ya watoto wetu. We are committing them to you. Tunaleta kwa mbele zako. Your word is pure. Neno lako ni halisi. It says. Ninasema. Our children will be raised by you. Watoto wetu watakuzwa na wewe. Will be kept by you. Watafundishwa na wewe. Will be taught by you. Watafundishwa Oh Lord we commit them to you. Mungu kwa majina yao. We commit them to you. Tunawaleta kwa In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. We commit our president. Tunaleta watoto sifa zetu kwako. We commit our president. Tunamleta rais wetu kwako. John Pombe Magufuli. John Joseph Pombe Magufuli. We commit our leaders. Tunawaleta viongozi wetu kwako. We kwa commit ako. this nation. Tunaileta ili taifa. We commit the ministers of God. Tunawaleta watumishi wa Mungu. We commit every member of the nation of Tanzania. Tunam tunawaleta uh, wabunge wote. We wa commit every Tanzanian. Tunawaleta wa Tanzania wote. We commit even the election, oh Lord. Hata uchaguzi Mungu tunaoleta mikono mwa. Katika jina la Yesu. Lord, have your own way. Baba kuwa na njia yako mwenyewe. Put your mind inside Magufuli. Achilie fahamu zako ndani ya rais wetu Joseph Pombe Magufuli. Put your mind to the Tanzanians, oh Lord. Achilie fahamu zako kwa wa Tanzania Bwana. That Tanzania will do your will. Ya kwamba Tanzania watafanya mapenzi yako. Tanzania will not be used by the antichrist. Ya kwamba Tanzania haitatumiwa na wapinga Kristo. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Tanzania shall reign. Tanzania itatawala. Tanzania shall reign. Tanzania itatawala. Because Jesus you are in charge of our nation. Kwa sababu Yesu 
Wewe ndio ambaye unaiangalia taifa letu. You are in charge of our president. Wewe ndio unaiangalia rais wetu. You are in charge of our leaders. Wewe ndio unaoangalia viongozi wetu. You are in charge of all the people Wewe of Tanzania. Wewe unaiangalia watu wote wa Tanzania. You are in charge Lord. Wewe ndio unaoangalia. You are protecting bwana. us. Unatulinda bwana. No disease will come to Tanzania. Hakuna magonjwa yatakayokuja Tanzania. Corona flu will not come to Tanzania. Hakuna magonjwa afru ambayo atakuja Tanzania Ebola will not come to Tanzania Ebola itakuja Tanzania Because Tanzania belong to you Lord Kwa sababu Tanzania ni yako kwako Bwana In the name of Jesus Katika jina la Yesu The church spirit of the living God Tawala Bwana tawala roho Bwana The church spirit of the living God Tawala roho Bwana From east to west Toka mashariki hadi kaskazini North to south Magharibi na kusini Take charge of this nation Lord. Tawala ili taifa bwana. As your priest, I commit this nation to you. Kama kwani nalileta ili taifa mbele yako bwana. Thank you for releasing the scroll of this nation to us Lord. Asante kwa kuachilia blueprint of this nation to us Lord. Asante kwa kuachilia alama ya hii taifa kwetu bwana. Makusudi kwa ajili ya hii taifa letu kwetu bwana. Thank you Lord Jesus. Asante bwana Yesu. Oh thank you Holy Father. Asante Mungu mtakatifu. Thank you Holy Father. Asante Baba mtakatifu. Oh thank you for sending your chief prince angel to the all corners of this nation for your protection. Asante kwa kuachilia malaika wako mkuu katika kila eneo la hili taifa kufanya ulinzi. And those people who are against our nation will be known very soon in the name of Jesus. Na watu wote ambao wako kinyume na taifa letu watajulikana hivi. All the plans of the enemies will be revealed. Kila mpango wa adui utakuwa wazi. Because the chief prince of Tanzania angel he's in charge right now. Kwa sababu malaika mkuu wa Tanzania yuko katika kazi sasa. God has released him for that. Mungu amemwachilia kwa ajili hiyo. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. Tanzania belong to you. Tanzania belong to you. Tanzania ni yako. Tanzania shall be saved. Tanzania itaokolewa. From Dar es Salaam to Kigoma. Kuanzia Dar es Salaam mpaka Kigoma. From Arusha to Iringa. Arusha mpaka Iringa. Iringa to Mtwara. Iringa mpaka Mtwara. All the regions. Mikoa yote. Mwanza to Bukoba. Mwanza mpaka Bukoba. Singida Dodoma. Singida hadi Dodoma. Mbea and everywhere alone. Mbea na kila eneo Bwana. Tanzania shall be saved. Tanzania imeokolewa. Kilimanjaro is saved. Kilimanjaro imeokolewa. In Jesus my name. Katika jina la Yesu. Tanga belong to Jesus. Tanga ni ya kwako Yesu. Oh hallelujah. Hallelujah. Revival is in Lindi in the name of Jesus. Uamsho umeanza katika jina la Yesu. Is in Lindi, 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 Lindi. Uko katika mkoa wa Lindi katika jina la Yesu. Mtwara. Mtwara. Pwani. Pwani. Morogoro. Morogoro. Everywhere Lord, everywhere. Kila eneo, kila everywhere. Eneo, kila eneo bwana. People are praising you. Watu wanakusifu wewe. And you are visiting them in a mighty way. Na unawatembelea leo. It shall come to pass. Itatokea bwana. In Jesus my name. Katika jina la Yesu. Thank you Lord Jesus. Asante bwana Yesu. For you are delighted with those people who are sincere before you. Kwa kuangalia watu ambao wako waaminifu mbele zako. Thank you for making us sincere to you Lord. Asante kwa kutufanya waaminifu mbele zako Bwana. Because out of our actions we cannot do. Kwa sababu bila nguvu zako hatuwezi kufanya chochote. We can try and fail. Tunaweza tukajaribu lakini tutashindwa. Oh thank you Father for raising women, mighty women in Tanzania in these last days. Asante kwa kuinua wanawake wa Tanzania Bwana katika siku hizi za mwisho. Mighty saints of children in this nation. Watoto wat, wat, watumishi wako Mungu watakatifu wako katika taifa hili. Oh Lord, thank you for for lifting up the youth in Tanzania. Asante kwa kuwainua vijana katika nchi ya Tanzania. And the elders Lord. Na, wa, na, na wazee Bwana. Oh thank you Father. Asante bwana. This nation belong to you. Ili taifa ni lako. We declare your majesty king. Tunatamka wewe ni Mungu mkuu. All of our nation. Bwana taifa letu. Let your blood cover us. Chilia damu yako itufunike. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. Stay house in Dar es Salaam. 
Ikuru ya Dar es Salaam. We are sending the blood of Jesus there. Tunatuma damu ya Yesu mahali pale. Tete house in Chato. Ikulu ya chato. We are sending the blood of Jesus there. Tunatuma damu ya Yesu hapo. Tete house in Dodoma. Ikulu ya Dodoma. We are sending the blood of Jesus there. Tunatuma damu ya Yesu. Every state house house in every region blood of Jesus. Kila ikulu katika mikoa ya Tanzania tunatuma damu ya Yesu. Let the blood of Jesus Achiria damu ya Yesu. Cleans every place. Ikatakase kila eneo. And we are speaking for the protection of our president. Na tunatamka ulinzi kwa rais wetu. He's been guarded now by your lovely blood. Anazungukwa sasa na kulindwa na damu yako ya upendo. And angels are now whispering the wisdom of God in his mind. Na malaika wako wamemzunguka na hekima yako Mungu ipo katika fahamu yake sasa. Because you are talking to him now. Kwa sababu unazungumza naye sasa. You are talking to him. Unazungumza naye. You are talking to him. Unazungumza naye. We offer him to you Lord. Tunamleta mbele zako Bwana. We we offer magufuli to you Lord. Tunamleta magufuli kwako Bwana. Let him be used by you. Akatumiwe na wewe tu Mungu. All other leaders who are against him let them be known. Wale viongozi wote ambao wako kinyume naye wakajulikane sasa in the name of jesus katika jina la yesu for we have prayed for him to do your will baba tunaomba kwa ajili yake kufanya mapenzi yako whoever will be against it let him be perished yoyote ambaye atakuwa kinyume na mapenzi yako ambayo bwana atayafanya acha akapotee in the name of jesus katika jina la yesu let your will stand alone Acha mapenzi yako yatimizwe peke yako Bwana. Oh kwa. thank you Father. Asante Baba. Thank you Father. Asante Baba. You are bringing smile to Tanzanians. Baba achilia tabasamu kwa Tanzania. Oh thank you Lord. Asante Bwana. Thank you Lord for the crops. Asante Bwana kwa ajili ya mazao. Thank you Lord for the business. Asante kwa ajili ya biashara. Thank you Lord for raising Asante our economy back ya kuin... again. Kwa... Asante kwa ajili ya kuinua uchumi wetu tena. Thank you for tourism. Lord. Asante kwa ajili ya utalii. New animals will Wanyama be found. Wanyama wengine Mungu. We be found in Tanzania. Watajulikana Tanzania. New birds will be seen in Tanzania. Wengi, wengine wapya wataonekana Tanzania. Thank you Lord Jesus. Asante Bwana Yesu. Thank you Lord Jesus. Asante Bwana Yesu. Even big fishes which people have never seen will be seen in Tanzania. Hata samaki wakubwa ambao watu hawajawahi kuona wataona Tanzania. And people will come to see it. Na watu watakuja kusema. Oh Lord, thank you Lord Jesus. Asante Bwana Yesu. Because you have remembered this nation. Kwa sababu umelikumbuka ili taifa. You have remembered the church of Tanzania. Umekumbuka ili kanisa la Tanzania. Father, I pray for the unity of the church of Tanzania. Baba ninaomba kwa ajili ya umoja wa kanisa la Tanzania. No church which can afford to work alone. Hakuna kanisa linaloweza kufanya peke yake. Lord we pray for the unity. Baba tunaomba kwa ajili ya umoja. We pray for the love. Baba tunaomba kwa ajili ya upendo. Forgiveness. Msamaa. Thank you Father. Asante baba. In the name of Jesus Christ. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo wa Nazareth. I pray to all what Lord I believe you have shown me. Ninaomba kwa kila kitu ambacho Mungu ninaamini umenionyesha. Katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Thank you Holy Father. Asante Baba mtakatifu. Thank you Holy Father. Asante Baba mtakatifu. Amen. 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 Give it up to Jesus somebody. Pigia makofi kwa Bwana Yesu. He has done it. Amefanya. He has remembered us. Ametukumbuka. Only we should be faithful in him. Ni kuishi tu kwa imani kwake. Praise God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah somebody. Hallelujah. I'm going straight to the word of God as I said. Tunaenda moja kwa moja katika neno la Mungu. And the title of the word of today is Na kichwa chetu cha neno la leo linasema Beware of dogs. Kuwa makini na mbwa. Beware of dogs. Kuwa makini na mbwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Man of God Joachim, please come and sit here. Praise God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Beware of dogs. Kuwa makini na mbwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, neighbor beware of dogs. Mwambie jirani, jirani kuwa makini na mbwa. Jiadhari na mbwa. 
Beware of dogs. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to read straight in the book of Luke chapter 10 verse 3. The Bible says clearly. Go. Go. I am sending you out like lamb among the wolves. God knows he's sending you to the wolves. He knows he's sending you to the dogs. Yet he's saying, Mama Tuti, go! Is he a, God, a good God? How come he knows there are wolves and he's sending us? Oh, let me ask you this question. You know there are dogs outside. And those dogs, you don't know them. Can you send your children out? Nema is nodding her head that no, she won't send her children outside to the dogs. Send their children out where there are dogs and wolves. But the word of God, our Father is saying, Go! Do you want to tell me that he is a bad God? Because he is saying, Go! And that Go is for everyone. I am sending you out like lambs. Church, listen to me. Clearly. God knows he can send you out as a lion and he may give you power like a lion for you to defend yourself for you to attack but he is removing everything and he is sending you as a lamb among the wolves is he a good God? Is he a good God? He's sending you among the wolves. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God somebody. Think about it. Maybe you are passing through the wolves. Among the wolves. Please come move with me so that you hear me well. You are passing among the wolves. And the wolves are attacking you. And you think God does not love you. But because of his love. He said go. I am sending you out. Just as a lamb. Among the wolves. Family God has sent you. Familia Mungu anasema has sent you. Amekutuma. The wolves will bite you. Ya kwamba mbwa mwitu atakungata. The wolves will try to destroy you. Mbwa mwitu atataka kukuarebo. But they will never finish you. Lakini hawatakumaliza. If they fail Jesus. Kama walimshindwa Yesu. If they fail Jesus. Kama walimshindwa Yesu. They cannot win you. Hawawezi kukushinda wewe. Because Jesus finished everything. Kwa sababu Yesu alimaliza kila kitu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us read again from the book of Matthew chapter 7 verse 15. Tusome tena katika kitabu cha Mathayo 10 7 Matthew 7:15. I'm just building a foundation first. Na tengeneza tu msingi kwanza Mathayo 7:13. The Bible says. The Bible says. Neno la Mungu linasema. Watch out. Watch out for false prophets. Matthew 7:15 please. Matthew Mathayo Mathayo 7:15. Jiadharini na manabii wa uongo. They come to you in sheep clothing. Watu wanaowajia wamevaa mavazi ya kondoo. But inwardly they are ferocious wolves. Lakini kwa ndani ni mbwa mwitu wakali. Okay. Ndiyo. God has sent us as a lamb. Mungu ametutuma kama mwana kondoo. Devil has his prophets. Shetani ana manabii wake. He has made them like real sheep. Amewafanya kama amewafanya kama with a clothing sheep. 
Amefanya kama watu wenye mavazi ya kondoo. Outwardly. Nje. But inwardly there was. Lakini kwa ndani ni mbwa mwitu. The lamb of God inside the church. Kuna mbwa mwitu kuna kuna the lambs of God inside the church. Kuna wana kondoo ndani ya ya kanisa. Being pastored by the wolves. Ambao wana wanafanya kazi ya mbwa mwitu. Wanachungwa na mbwa mwitu. Ambao wanachungwa na mbwa mwitu. Yet God is keeping the lambs. Lakini bado Mungu anawaachia. Yet God is keeping the lambs. Na bado Mungu anawaachia kondoo. Sita. The Bible says, Biblia inasema, I am sending you out like sheep among the wolves. Just translate it's normal. Angalieni mimi ninawatuma kama kondoo kati ya mbwa mwitu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Therefore be as sure as snakes and as innocent as doves. Basi weni na busara kama nyoka na kuwa watu wa pole kama ua. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The book of Acts chapter 20. Kitabu cha matendo ya mitume 20. Verse 29. 25. Verse 29. 29. The Bible says. Biblia inasema. I know. Najua. After I leave. Baada ya kuondoka. Savage wolves will come among you and will not spare the flock. Mbwa mwitu waongo atakuja kwenu na hata Jesus is saying. Yesu anasema. He know. Anajua. After he will leave. Ya kwamba atakapoondoka. The wolves will come. Mbwa mwitu atakuja. And will not spare anyone. Hawata muacha yoyote. What am I trying to say? Ninachotaka kusema. God is a good God. Mungu ni Mungu mzuri. As long as you are walking unto his ways. As long as you are walking Unapo, unto his as, ways. Kutoka kulingana na kwamba unatembea katika njia zake. He has a, a mechanism of protecting you. Ana njia ya namna ya kukulinda wewe kutoka kwa shetani. The moment you turn away from his way, devil can kill you. Muda ambao wewe unageuka na kuacha njia ya Mungu ndipo ambapo shetani anaweza kukuua. You are a lamb. You are a lamb. Wewe ni kondoo. The moment you try to live like wolves, wolves will kill you. Wewe ni mwana kondoo. Muda ambao utaamua kuchagua kuwa kama mwana mwana mbwa mwitu, mbwa mwitu atakuua. One lesson we get here. Tunajifunza nini hapa? Don't mess up with Satan. Usicheze na shetani. Tell your neighbor neighbor do not mess up with Satan. Mwambie jilani jilani usicheze na shetani. Mama tuti tell Tuli do not mess up with Satan. Mama tuti mwambie Tuli usicheze na shetani. Devil is a veteran in this world. Shetani yeye ni veteran wa nchi wa hii dunia. He has been there since the year zero. Alikuepo tangu mwaka 0. The year one. Mwaka wa kwanza. When human being was made unto this world pale ambapo mwanadamu aliumbwa katika hii dunia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yet. Lakini bado devil shetani was there. Alikuepo. And many of us we are we are putting down devil. Na watu wengi tunamweka chini shetani. We are underrating devil. Tunamuondoa tuna katika kiwango shetani. We think devil tunadhani shetani he doesn't know the tricks. Hajui njia. Devil has been there. Shetani alikuepo since you are not born tangu kabla hata hujaumbwa he has been there even before your father existed alikuepo hata baba yako hajakuepo he has been during the pharaoh's time alikuepo wakati wa wa farao yet he is there na bado alikuepo and many people are praying with devil na watu wengi wanacheza na shetani. That's why our subject of today is saying beware of the dogs. Na ndio maana neno letu la leo linasema jiadhari na na mbwa. Beware of the wolves. Jiadhari na mbwa mwitu. Devil first trick will do is to dry you up. Shetani njia yake ya kwanza atafanya ni kuku to dry you up kukausha. Kukukausha. He will make sure there is no word of God inside you. Atahakikisha hakuna neno la Mungu ndani yako. He will make sure you don't pray inside you. Atahakikisha hautaomba ndani yako. And then will be in a very position of killing you. Na atakuwa na njia nzuri ya kukuua. In the book of John chapter 10 verse 10. Ukisoma katika kitabu cha Yohana 10:10. The Bible says. Biblia inasema. The thief come to kill and to destroy. Ya kwamba shetani anakuja kuua na kuharibu. But I come so that you may have life. 
Lakini mimi nimekuja ili uwe pana uwe na uzima. Not only life. Sio uzima tu. But life in abundance. Bali uzima tena uzima wote. Devil is there is there to destroy you. Shetani yuko pale kuhakikisha anakuharibu. And every time he wants to destroy you. Na kila wakati anataka kukuharibu. You all understand that I was not here last week. Wote mnajua ya kwamba sikuepo hapa wiki iliyopita. I've just returned day before yesterday. Nilirudi tu siku ya juzi. When I was coming back to Tanzania. Wakati ninarudi Tanzania for over three hours. Kwa muda wa masaa matatu. More than three hours. Zaidi ya masaa matatu. The flight wanted to fall down. Ndege ilitaka kuanguka. And it is a huge flight. Na ni ndege kubwa. Which can take maybe 400 people 500. Inaweza ikachukua watu kama 400 au 500. It's a big one. Ni ndege kubwa. But the way it was taken out by the wind. Wakati na namna ilivyokuwa inazungushwa na upepo. Even the the air hostesses were in trembling fear. Hata wale wahudumu wa ndege walikuwa wameingiwa na hofu ya tetemeko You know when you reach to a point you find air hostesses in fear, you know this is not normal. Unapoona wale wahudumu wa ndege wenyewe wanakuwa na hofu, unajua kabisa hii sio kawaida. For over three hours. Kwa muda wa masaa matatu. And then God started to speak to me. Ndipo ambapo Mungu akaanza kusema na mimi. My son are you, le- are you ready to meet with me? Akasema uh, mtoto wangu uko tayari kukutana na mimi. What if you are coming back home now? Je, kama inakuwaje kama utakuja nyumbani sasa? What is your position now? Nafasi yako ikoje? Will you make it to heaven? Je, utafika mbinguni? I started searching my heart. Nikaanza kuchunguza moyo wangu. Family if I was dying two days ago, I was going to hell straight. Familia kama ningekufa siku mbili zilizopita nilikuwa naenda kuzimu. And I couldn't complain to anyone. Na singe nilalamika kwa yoyote. Three hours. Masaa matatu. Holy Spirit was just speaking to me. Roho Mtakatifu alikuwa akisema na mimi. You are dying. Where are you going? Unakufa, unaenda wapi? Imagine devil wanted to kill all the people only to he was searching for one person. Hebu fikiri shetani alikuwa anataka kuua watu wote kwa ajili tu ya kumtafuta mtu mmoja. Why? Kwa nini? He want to destroy the God's own purpose. Alikuwa anataka kuondoa kusudi la Mungu. Beware of dogs. Kuwa makini na mbwa mwitu. Beware of wolves. Kuwa makini na mbwa. Beware of the devil. Kuwa makini na shetani. Devil is not happy with us. Shetani hana furaha na sisi. When you pray, unapoomba, devil will attack you. Shetani atakupinga. When you read the word of God, unaposoma neno la Mungu, devil will attack you. Shetani atakupinga. When you don't pray, usipoomba, that is a good time for devil to attack you. Huo ndio muda mzuri wa shetani kukuharibu. There is no time which devil will not attack you. Hakuna muda ambao shetani hatakuharibu. He is like a ro- rolling lion. Yeye ni kama simba anayezunguka zunguka. Anayunguruma. The roaring lion. Simba anayunguruma. Who is moving around in this world? Anayezunguka zunguka kwenye hii dunia. Finding to kill someone. Ili kuweza kumuua mtu. That's why you hear ten people dead of tragedy. Na ndio maana unasikia watu kumi wamekufa. 15 people died of Ebola. Watu 15 wamekufa kwa Ebola. I heard yesterday 40 people have been killed of corona flu in China. Amesikia jana watu 40 wamekufa kwa ajili ya huo ugonjwa wa mafua. Corona flu, corona, just speak corona. Corona flu. Devil can send any kind of diseases. Shetani anaweza akatuma magonjwa yoyote. So that you go home early. Ili urudi nyumbani mapema. Before your time kabla ya muda wako before doing what god has called you in this kabla world kabla ya kile ambacho mungu anataka ufanye kwenye hii dunia the best way to do kitu bora cha kufanya it is to do god's will ni kufanya mapenzi ya mungu god's will mapenzi ya mungu walk righteously tembea katika haki the bible says clearly biblia inasema wazi wazi if our hearts kama mioyo yetu if our hearts will not judge us kama mioyo yetu haitatuhukumu Then we are confident before the Lord. Hivyo basi tuna tuna ujasiri mbele za Mungu. If you are confident in your heart. Kama una ujasiri ndani ya moyo wako. Family I realized two days ago that I was not confident to meet my father. Familia niligundua siku mbili zilizopita kwamba sikuwa na ujasiri wa kukutana na baba yangu. I was a sinner. 
mimi ni nilikuwa ni maybe i am still the sinner na inawezekana hata mpaka sasa mimi ni mwenye running my race every day nina kazana mwendo mwendo kila siku i am repenting every day nina tubu kila siku i am putting my house in order every day ninaweka vitu vyangu vizuri kila siku what you must do na ndivyo hivyo na wewe unatakiwa kufanya don't think you are there already usidhani kama umefika many people are just saying watu wengi wanasema one saved is 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 always saved kuokolewa mara moja ndo umeshaokolewa no hapana that is the first step of salvation hiyo ni ni hatua moja ya wokovu you must walk on your salvation lazima utembee katika wokovu wako you must stand up with lord jesus lazima usimame na bwana yesu even at the time of not being spared by the wolves hata pale wakati ambapo sio wa ku akamatwa na mbwa mwitu haleluya 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 there is no time in this world where devil is good to anyone hakuna muda kwenye hii dunia ya kwamba shetani ni mzuri kwa kila mtu his only plan is to anger god's purpose in this world siku zote ni kuharibu mpango wa mungu katika hii dunia and god's plan is, is for you to rule in this world na mpango wa mungu ni kwa wewe kutawala kwenye hii to be on behalf of your father in this world kuwa pamoja kuwa uh, kwa niaba ya baba yako kwenye hii dunia. And is clever. Na shetani ni mwenye akili. The Bible says in the book of Genesis chapter 3. Neno la Mungu linasema katika kitabu cha mwanzo sura ya tatu. Now some serpent was more craft, was more clever. Ya kwamba sasa na nyoka alikuwa mwerevu. Than the wild animals. Kuliko wanyama wote. That God has made. Ambao Mungu aliwaumba. Family God is clever. Familia Mungu ni mwerevu. I am saying Devil is clever. Familia shetani ni mwerevu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Devil will make sure. Shetani atahakikisha. You are focusing on good things. Unaangalia tu vitu vizuri. And you, you ignore the important ones. Na una, una, unapotezea vitu vya muhimu. You are focusing on good things. You ignore the important things. Unatazama tu vitu vizuri na kupotezea vitu vya umuhimu. Somebody has died. Mtu amekufa. I am going to see my friend. Ninaenda kumuona rafiki yangu. That is a good thing. Kweli ni kitu kizuri. But you don't have time to pray. Lakini hauna muda wa kuomba. There is a wedding somewhere. Kuna harusi mahali. I am going to the wedding ceremony. Ninaenda kwenye harusi. And I will spend overnight there. Na nitatumia muda ule wa usiku huko. And tomorrow I will not go to church. Na kesho siendi kanisani. It was good to go to the wedding. Ni vizuri kwenda kwenye sherehe ya It was not sin to go to the wedding. Ni kwenda kwenye sherehe ya But when you ignore the importance of going to church, that is when devil attacks you. Pale ambapo unapotezea kwenda kanisani, nipo ambapo shetani anakuvamia. You do good, you leave the importance. Unafanya kizuri unaacha cha muhimu. Devil he will never cause you to do bad things in your eye Shetani hawezi kukusababisha wewe kufanya kitu kibaya katika macho yako He may make sure you get a good job Anaweza akahakikisha unapata kazi nzuri Nice salary Mshahara mzuri But he will make sure Lakini atahakikisha That job will put you away from church Atahakikisha hiyo hiyo kazi itakutoa itakuweka mbali na kanisa It will put you away from reading the word of God Itakuweka mbali katika kusoma neno la Mungu Every time in that office People are abusing one another. Kila wakati katika hiyo kanisa watu wanatukanana. You know and, and, and those abusive language they become like normal words. Unajua hayo maneno ya kutukanana yanakuwa kama ni maneno ambayo ya kawaida katika eneo hilo. And slow by slow they destroy your heart. Na pole pole anaanza kuumiza kubadi kuharibu moyo wako. It starts very slow. Inaanza pole pole. You fool. Wewe mpumbavu. You fool. Wewe mpumbavu. No more no more again they will change the word. Kidogo kidogo wanabadilisha neno. And later you'll think those words are normal. Na baadaye unaona tu hayo maneno ya kawaida. Family devil will make sure you are dirty. Familia shetani atahakikisha wewe ni mchafu. And the moment you are dirty, he will make sure you lose confidence to go to your father. Na shetani akihakikisha kwamba wewe ni mchafu, atakuondolea ujasiri wa kwenda mbele ya baba yako. When you read the book of Luke chapter 15 Ukisoma kitabu cha Luka 15 verse 15 to 19 Luka 15 15 mpaka 19 The Bible speaks about the lost son Neno la Mungu linasema kuhusiana na the lost son mtoto aliyepotea He longed to fill his stomach with the pods that pigs were eating but no one gave him anything Alienda kula pamoja na 
nguruwe lakini hakuna mtu yeyote aliyekuwa anamjali and when he came to his senses na pale alipo rudi kwenye fahamu zake he said akasema how many of my father's hired servants ni watumishi wangapi kwa baba yangu they have food ambao wana chakula even food to spare na chakula cha kuhifadhi and here i am starving to death na alikuwa ana njaa aka alikuwa ana na hapa nimekaa kuelekea kufa na hapa nimekaa kuelekea kufa i will set out and go to my father nitaondoka na nitakwenda kwa baba yangu family it is until boldly you decide with your greatness to go to your father familia mpaka pale utakapoamua uinuka na kuondoka kwa uchafu wako kwenda kwa baba yako devil will continue to torment you that you are not worth Shetani ataendelea kukuambia kwamba wewe sio mtakatifu. Verse 19 the Bible says. Mstari wa 19 neno la Mungu linasema. Of chapter 15 of Luke. Sura ya 15 ya kitabu cha Luka. But while he was still long away of his father long away of his father saw him and he was filled with compassion for him. He ran to his son, threw his arms around him and kissed him. Read verse 19 Juliana quickly. Mstari wa 19. Sistahili kuitwa mwana wako. Not verse 19. Start from verse 18. Okay, sorry. Nitaondoka, itakwenda kwa baba yangu na kumwambia, mm-hmm. baba nimekosa. Juu ya mbingu na mbele yako. All right. Uh-huh. Sistahili kuitwa mwana wako tena. Right. Nifanye kama mmoja wa watumishi wako. Akaondoka akaenda kwa babaye. Mm-hmm. Alipokuwa angali mbali while he was far on his way home wakati akiwa mbali kuelekea nyumbani kwa baba yake his father saw him baba yake alimuona his father ran to him baba yake akamkimbilia he hugged him akamkumbatia with his deadness he hugged him pamoja na uchafu wake alimkumbatia and he kissed him na alimbusu imagine hebu fikiri there he was eating with pigs pale alikuwa anakula na nguruwe he was dirty alikuwa mchafu. No one to give him food. Hakuna yoyote ya kumpa chakula. Here the father is hugging him and kissing him. Hapa baba yake anamkumbatia na kumboso. Family our good God is ready to kiss you and hug you. Familia baba yetu ni mzuri. Baba yetu mzuri yuko tayari kukumbatia na kukubusu. Only if you repent and go back to him. Utakaporudi mbele zake kwa kutubu. He will hug you with your deadness. Atakukumbatia na uchafu wako. Because no deadness which can make God dirty. Hakuna uchafu ambao utakaomfanya Mungu uchafu. Only your deadness will be cleansed by him. Ni uchafu wako tu ndio ambao utakao takaswa na yeye. You cannot make God dirty. Hawezi kumfanya Mungu mchafu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are people who are saying they are making God famous. Kuna watu wanaosema kwamba wanamfanya Mungu maarufu. You cannot go, make God famous. Uwezi kumfanya Mungu kuwa maarufu. Who are you to make God famous? Wewe ni nani wa kumfanya Mungu kuwa maarufu? You praise him or you don't praise him. He is God. Usipo msifu wala umsifu usipo msifu. Mungu yeye ni Mungu. You worship him, you don't worship him. He is God. Usipo muabudu, muabudu yeye ni Mungu. I say we are making God famous. Tunasema kwamba tunamfanya Mungu awe maarufu. Are you fool? Wewe ni mpumbavu. Go to God with your deadness for him to make you clean. Nenda na uchafu wako mbele za Mungu ili akufanye kuwa msafi. Say I am going back to my father. Sema ninarudi kwa baba yangu. Not to make God famous. Sio kumfanya Mungu kuwa maarufu. He is famous already. Yeye ni Mungu maarufu tayari. And he does need to say. And he does need to say. Na wala hataki kusema. Jesus came in this world. Yesu amekuja kwenye hii dunia. To his people. Kwa ajili ya watu wake. And they rejected him. Na walimkataa. Who are you to say that you can make him famous? Wewe ni nani ambaye unasema unaweza ukamweka Yesu maarufu? If he came they rejected him. Kama alikuja na walimkataa. Just do what God has called you to do in this world. kile ambacho Mungu amekuitia kufanya kwenye hii dunia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Another trick of this devil whom we are supposed to be beware of. Ah njia nyingine ambayo shetani ambayo anataka ataifanya unatakiwa unayo makini. He will make sure your eyes are dirty. Atahakikisha macho yako ni machafu. The Bible says in Lamentation chapter 3 verse 51. Neno la Mungu linasema katika kitabu cha Maombolezo sura ya 3 mstari wa 52. Mine eye has affected mine heart. Moyo wa, macho yangu yameharibu moyo wangu. What you see affected your heart. Kile unachokiona ndicho kinachoharibu moyo wangu. How many bad things you see from your eyes? Vitu vingapi ambavyo umeviona kutoka na macho yako? Those are the things which are destroying you. 
Hivyo ndio vitu ambavyo vinakuharibu. Job is saying in Job 31 verse 1 Kitabu cha Ayubu kinasema katika kitabu cha Ayubu 31 31 I have made covenant with my eye not to look lustful to a woman. Nimeweka agano na macho yangu kutoka kumtazama mwanamke. Hallelujah. 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 Devil is so tricky. Shetani ana njia nyingi sana. He put things in your eyes. Anaweza kuweka vitu kwenye macho yako. He put things in your ears. Anaweza kuweka vitu kwenye masikio yako. Every time somebody is speaking good you hear bad. Kila wakati utasikia vitu vizuri kwenye masikio yako. Somebody is speaking good you hear bad. Mtu anaweza akazungumza vitu vizuri wewe unasikia vibaya. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6. Wa Filipi 14 wa verse 6. Wa Filipi 4 uh, mstari wa 6. Do not be anxious about anything but in every situation by prayer, petition with thanksgiving present your request to God. Msijisumbue kwa jambo lolote bali kwa kila jambo katika kuomba, kushukuru msijisumbue kwa, je, kwa neno lolote bali katika kila neno kwa kusali na kuomba pamoja na kushukuru haja zenu na zijulikane na Mungu Devil will make sure that you are not thankful to God Shetani atahakikisha utakuwa na shukurani mbele za Mungu When you read the, the book of Luke chapter 17 verse 17 Ukisoma kitabu cha Luka 17:17 Jesus asked Jesus asked Yesu aliuliza We are not all ten cleansed Je, tulikuwa sio kumi? Ah, ah hawakutakaswa wote. Je, akajibu hawa kutakaswa wote kumi? Only one person returned to thank God. Wale kenda wa wapi? Mtu mmoja tu alirudi kwa Mungu. God is delighted when you go to thank him. Mungu anashukuru ana, ana, anafurahishwa unaporudi kushukuru. But devil will make sure you are not delighted in the Lord. Shetani atahakikisha urudi kushukuru mbele za Mungu. Hallelujah. 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 When you read the book of Romans chapter 3 verse 18. Ukisoma kitabu cha Warumi sura ya 3 mstari wa 18. The Bible says, Neno la Mungu linasema, There is no fear of God before their eyes. Kumcha Mungu hakupo machoni pao. Devil will make sure you don't fear God. Shetani atahakikisha umuogopi Mungu. But you fear things of the world. Lakini unaogopa vitu vya dunia. You fear about food. Unaogopa kuhusiana na chakula. You fear about rent. Unaogopa kuhusiana na kodi. You fear about job. Unaogopa kuhusiana na kazi. But the Bible says, Lakini Biblia inasema, Do not be anxious for nothing. Usio, usiogope kwa chochote. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Devil make sure you love things of the world. Shetani atahakikisha utapenda vitu vya dunia. Devil make sure that you ignore God. Shetani atahakikisha unamwacha Mungu. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 2 verse 15. Neno Mungu linasema katika waraka wa kwanza wa Yohana sura ya pili mstari wa 15 Do not love the world and things of the world. Usipende dunia na vitu vya dunia. Anybody who is in love of this world cannot love God. Mtu akipenda dunia kumpenda baba hakumo ndani. Romans chapter 8 verse 35. Warumi 8:35. Who can separate us from the love of God? Ni nini kitakachotutenga na upendo wa Mungu? When I am speaking about love Napozungumza kwa habari ya upendo. This is the best weapon which we can attack which we can protect ourselves from the devil. Hii ni silaha kubwa sana ambayo tunaweza kupigana na shetani. One day we'll have time we'll talk about the weapon called love. Siku moja tutazungumza silaha inayohusiana upendo. This is the mightiest weapon. Hii ni silaha kubwa sana. In this world. Katika hii dunia. Don't attack your enemy. Usipigane na adui yako. Love your enemy. Mpende jirani yako. If someone has hurted you. Kama mtu amekuumiza. The only way for you to be healed. Njia moja nzuri ya wewe kupona. It is to pray for the person who has hurted you. Kumuombea mtu ambaye amekuumiza. For the good things. Kwa kwa vitu vizuri. Pray for him to be uplifted. Muombee ainuliwe. Pray for him to be rich. Muombee awe tajiri. Pray for him to inherit the kingdom of God. Muombee aurithi ufalme wa Mungu. Why am I saying that? Kwa sana nini nasema hivyo? Devil is not a place to go even for your enemy. Uzim sio sehemu nzuri ya kwenda hata adui. Jehanam sio sehemu nzuri kwenda hata nani adui yako. Hell is not a place even which your enemy is deserving to go. Kuzim sio sehemu nzuri adui yako kwenda. If you want to be healed from somebody who has hurted you. Kama unataka kupona kutokana na mtu ambaye amekuumiza. Pray for the good things about that person. Muombe kwa vitu vizuri kwa ajili ya huyo mtu. She has taken your husband. Amechukua mume wako. Pray for their good life. Muombe kwa ajili ya maisha mazuri. For the fruits of their womb. Kwa ajili ya ya mzao wa tumbo lake. 
you wanted to be married almost unataka kuolewa ulitaka kuolewa two days before siku mbili kabla you realized umegundua there is another woman kuna mwanamke mwingine and that woman was married before you na huyo mwanamke ameolewa kabla yako just pray for good things omba tu kwa ajili ya vitu vizuri there was a good business kuna biashara nzuri which you, you are supposed to get money ambayo ulitaka kupata fedha but that person has gone behind you lakini kuna mtu amekwenda mbele yako and has taken that money na amechukua hiyo fedha and you have known that person na unamjua huyo mtu pray for that person omba kwa ajili ya huyo mtu lord i pray that him to prosper bwana ninaomba kwa ajili ya huyo mtu i pray for his protection ninaomba kwa ajili ya ulinzi i pray that he meet with you lord naomba ili akutane na wewe bwana don't pray for the bad things usiombe kwa ajili ya vitu vibaya those are devil's prayer if you pray for that person to die hayo ni maombi ya kishetani ukiomba kwa ajili ya huyo mtu pray for the good things omba kwa ajili ya vitu vizuri hallelujah I know it's difficult. Najua ni ngumu. But God is love. Lakini Mungu ni upendo. If you are not walking love. Kama hutembei katika upendo. You cannot please God. Hauwezi kumpendeza Mungu. How can you say? Unawezaje ukasema? You love God. Unampenda Mungu. And you hate your neighbor. Na unamchukia jirani yako. The only weapon is love. Njia silaha kubwa ni upendo. As we are beware of dog. Kama tunavyokuwa makini na mbwa mwitu. Wolves cannot touch us if we are walking in love. Mbwa mwitu hawezi kutugusa kama tunatembea katika upendo. You make sure you, you, you get anger. Atahakikisha utapata hasira. And then he will attack you. Na ndipo hapo ambapo atakuharibu. But when you walk in love. Lakini unapotembea katika upendo. Devil cannot touch you. Shetani hawezi kukugusa. Praise God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Stand up on your own feet right Simama now. kwa miguu yako sasa. I want us to pray right Nataka now. Nataka tukaombe sasa. A simple prayer. A simple prayer. Maombi tu maraisi. A simple prayer. Maombi maraisi. One, two, three, stand up. Simama sasa. If you are seated just continue to sit. I want to pray now. Say Lord Jesus. Sema Bwana Yesu. I've discovered the the plans of the enemy. Nimegundua mipango ya adui. That devil wants to kill me. Ya kwamba shetani anataka kuniua. And you have said in your word that I should be aware of the wolves. Na umesema katika neno lako ya kwamba tuwe makini na mbwa mwitu. And you are sending us among the wolves. Na umetutuma katikati ya mbwa mwitu. Lord I release everyone who has offended me. Baba ninamwachilia kila mtu aliyenikosea. Come on mention their names now. Wataje kwa majina yao sasa. Even if you don't mean it, mention them. Baba umaanishwe wataje tu. Forgive them. Wasamee. Release them. Waachilie. Release them. Waachilie. Say so and so, I release you from my heart. Sema fulani na fulani, ninakuachilia katika moyo wako. If it is your husband, release. Sema ni mume wako muachilie. Just release. Muachilie. And you will continue to do this later at home. Na utaendelea kufanya hivi baadaye nyumbani. Because this healing continues. Kwa sababu itaendelea hivi. This healing continues. Kwa sababu uponyaji unaendelea. Come, come on mention them now. Taja hayo majina sasa. If it is your pastor who has offended you mention him. Kama ni mchungaji wako ambaye amekukosea mtaje. If it is me mention me. Kama ni mimi basi nitaje. Yes, it is for your own good. Ni kwa ajili yako. It is for your own good. Ni kwa ajili yako. If it is your father. Kama ni baba yako. If it is your mother. Kama ni mama yako. Release them. Waachilie. Right now simple mention Nasa them. Hivi. I am giving you one minute Re- release them. Naachilia dakika moja uwaachilie. 1 moja 2 Bili Just mention them 3 Tatu Mention them 4 Kwa taje tu 4 Father Baba Hear the prayer of your children Sikia maombi ya watoto wako There are those who meant it Kuna wale ambao wanamaanisha And those who do not mean it Na kuna wengine hawamaanishi Forgive everyone they've mentioned Wasamee kila mmoja ambao wamemtaja. Even those they've forgotten them. Hata wale ambao wamewasahau. Continue to remind them. Wakumbushe Bwana. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Let our spirits be free. Achilia roho zetu ziwe huru. Let our hearts be free. Achilia mioyo yetu iwe huru. In Jesus mighty name. Katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Amen. We may sit down. Naweza kukaa. Let us give our offering quickly. Tutoe sadaka zetu kwa haraka. Quickly let us give our offering. Worship you alone you are